This is the Nissan Ultimaniac, and it's one of the newest cars in the FH5 Horizon Racing Car Pack. And it just came out, is what I would have said if I made this video yesterday, and the Microsoft Store didn't break. But we will gloss over that. This is the Horizon Racing Car Pack. It includes four cars, the Ultimaniac, the Lotus Amir, the Pagani Harur, and the Celine Sport Truck. You can buy these four cars for $5, and I'm going to to tell you if I think it's worth it. We've also got some new customization that we're going to check out in FH5 that came in the update 22. And there are two secret cars that have been added to Forza Horizon 5. We're going to jump into all four of the cars, but we have to start it off with this. The Chris Forsberg Nissan Ultimaniac. With the Ultimaniac, we can actually swap this thing to have two thousand horsepower so we could make it all-wheel drive right out of the gate i think we'll come back to that in a second because i really want to try this as a drag car for now i'm going to try this thing rear wheel drive 2000 horsepower drift car because i like chaos and let's be honest the reason you click on my videos is to watch me crash and let's swap on some of the new customization wheels these are the rotiform aero discs and they look incredible a lot of chat wants dino nuggies what a way to start today's video i love the fact that you can toss on rally suspension that is awesome if we upgrade the camshafts we go up to 1500 horsepower and if we upgrade the turbos 1800 and 2000 horsepower i think this is the most powerful car we have ever had in any forts again. Anyways, we gotta give this thing a go. Rear wheel drive with 2,000 horsepower. Can I just say I love the fact that the flames shoot out the hood? I know that's usually a thing for Nissans, but this one, it's actually intentional. Let's see what we can do. Honestly, I don't actually think this is gonna be that great a drift car. I mean, probably there's gonna be people out there swapping all wheel drive on this thing, giving it drag tires, doing all of the gear stuff to make it as OP as possible for all of the drift zones. But in the configuration that I've got right now, it's actually so nice to drive. I love how you don't even need to try that much. The thing just spins up its wheels so easily. And then you've got drift suspension, like proper formula drift suspension. So you can just hang it out basically backwards on every single angle. And it just keeps working. The Ultima, I have literally been driving this Ultima for maybe five minutes, and I already love it. I think we need to figure out how fast this thing is top speed wise. I did a little bit of customization to try to make this thing better and easier to drive while also making it faster. I know it has a massive rear wing, but I went into the tuning and tuned away all of my downforce. Here we go though, 270 miles an hour already. Keep going, 272. We are literally aero limited by this thing. 274, 275. I guess that was kind of expected since it does have a massive rear wing and like arrowy bits all over the front. It just has too much drag. The rear wing is just too big. Even when I come into the arrow and it's full on speed, even that is too much arrow. If I'm actually going to take this thing drag racing, we need all wheel drive. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is already gonna be insanely fast. Super slick drag tires and I need those tires to be as thick as possible. We're gonna go full try hard. Oh, I actually love those wheels in black. We're gonna go full try hard though. I'm gonna get the lightweight wheels on. What is our prediction for our Ultimaniac quarter mile drag test? I would say in the sevens would be nice, but for some reason, I don't think it'll get that. Oh, it will. Oh, it will. Oh, it will. I'm dumb. <laughs> 7.4. 7.4 is not bad for something that has 2,000 horsepower. I was kind of expecting a little more. Come on, Nissan. Okay, first gear is very long now, but first gear actually feels really good. Oh, my gears are like bang on. 
195 across the line. Chat, did we just go slower? No, that was faster. It's not by very much, but I'll take the faster. Now that we've effectively reviewed the Nissan, is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I think the Nissan has to be a thumbs up. Let's go from a thumbs up to a thumbs down. The Saline Sport Truck. You might be saying, Nick, why are you calling the Saline an L? Don't you like big blue Ford pickup trucks? Yes. But there is a bit of a problem with this one. If you jump into the FH5 customization and into upgrades, if you go to the tires and rims, into tire compound, there are no tire upgrades other than off-road race tires. There are also no suspension upgrades for this thing. You may be saying, Nick, but it's an off-roader. My response, I don't care. Forza is a game about freedom and doing what you want to do with your vehicles. And if I can't, that is an L which this is. It's just the fact that we need to pay for this car. If this was a free car, it would have been really cool. It is not a big enough difference compared to the things we already have to justify the price. Saline, as cool as you are, and as much as I like my big F-150s, it's a bit of an L. If you watch my YouTube shorts that I make or my TikToks, you might have seen this. This is the Barbie Corvette C1 EV. And, 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 and this might be a bit of a hot take. This is one of the coolest cars in the update. <laughs> it is actually a unique model that is added into Forza Horizon 5. If you compare it with the 1953, although they're both Corvette C1s, the Barbie one is actually very different. Even though it's in the update, we have no idea how to get it just yet. I assume the Barbie car is going to be coming next month. We'll find out along with this, the Barbie Hummer. When the Barbie cars officially come to the game, I shall check them out. For now, though, they are the two hidden cars in FH5. All right, I see a lot of people in chat asking for the Amira. We will save the Pagani for last. So Fire says the stock engine in the Lotus is amazing. Wait, I got to figure out what engine this thing actually had. No, it is the V6. It's the V6 with 400 horsepower from the Toyota. It is a supercharged V6. All right, very cool. Are there any engine swaps for this thing so you could swap I have a feeling the Lotus is going to be a fat W. Could we actually swap it? No way! We've got the two liter! Well done, developers! <laughs> and a 6.2 liter V8, a racing V6, the Audi R8 V10, three liter V8. Wait, is that the Ariel Adam V8? A V12 and a racing V8. <laughs> I think we got to turn this thing into a fun S1 class car. How about the arrow for this thing? So we can get classic Forza arrow on the front. You know what? Since it's a Lotus, I feel like we should go full on race car with this thing. So let's do it. Big rear wing on the back that looks awful. It's not even the right size. I feel like we should get some of the other new wheels on here. Let's go for... So there's this one from Fisk or Fisky. I don't know how you pronounce it, but those are, those actually kind of work on there. You know what? Yeah. Get some engine spacers in the front and in the rear. Very nice. Upgrade the brakes. Very good. Upgrade the suspension. Very nice. Then we can get our weight reduction. Very nice. Two and a half thousand pounds. And this is why we like Lotus. And we've actually got PI left over. We have five PI. That is a Sick car. Two and a half thousand pounds, 750 horsepower, supercharged V6. <laughs> Okay, boys, we turn this thing into a race car. We need to do what Lotuses do. We are going to do a hill climb. I'm going up against, oh yes, some Caymans, a BRZ, all of the little sports cars. I love it. For those of you who don't know, I absolutely love Lotus. I love everything they stand for. They literally build some of the coolest cars on the road. Anybody who owns a Lotus is immediately a cool person. I don't know what to tell you. Saying that, I have to say this quick. It's, it's going to be like ripping off a Band-Aid. I don't actually like the Amir. I'm sorry. I like the Elise and the Exige far more than this. It might be that the Lotus Exige is so high on my list, it makes the other Lotuses seem not as cool. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but anyways. 
super cool car regardless. I think we could actually make it even better. I am gonna let Twitch chat choose our next build with this. What do you think? I should do with the Lotus. A lot of people are actually saying off-road rally. I think if it'll be really good somewhere, it could be off-road. Oh my God, off-road race tires. Should I get the big racing V8? Oh my God. We are building a death trap, buckle in. I think we'll call this a success if I don't end up on my roof within the first 30 seconds. I think that would be good. Oh my gears, oh my gears are really short. Oh my gears are really short, but it might work. Uh-oh. Sixteen seconds. Okay, we should probably go a little slower over this jump. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's a little. Oh my god! Did you see that Lotus on two wheels? Rewind that. With my off-road race tires, I should have really, really good grip. It feels really good. It feels really chuckable. It also feels a little understeery at the same time, though. I can't believe that we're doing this with a Lotus. It feels so wrong. You know how Lamborghini went and made that Lamborghini Dorado syringe? I think Lotus should do one as well. Imagine an off-road in real life Amira with like light bars and a lift kit. Yo, I could see Lotus doing that. I'm just saying. Make like 50 of them. Goodbye, Lotus Formula One team. Hello, Lotus WRC. In other news, we are also back to the days of Forza AI being Forza AI. Send it. Didn't mean to send it that much. Oh, I'm losing my positions. He who is sideways is last in smiling something something. <laughs> A lot of chat says W Lotus. I agree. And last but not least, it is the V12 Harura. Is this the final Pagani Hawaira that will be made? Or is Pagani going to do a Pagani and say it's the final one and then build 15 others? The exhaust is insane. Look at the suspension. You know how usually when I review cars, I'll drive it around and I'll tell you my thoughts about it. I'm going to just let the car do the talking. <laughs> I might have another hot take for this video. The Pagani Horrora R is a better sounding car than the Lexus LFA. That is a ridiculous noise. Like it's it's just it just screams. Let's see if the Pagani Hawaira is actually any good, you know, as a as a race car. It does have a big rear wing. It does have some fancy front splitter stuff at the front. So it should have loads of downforce in theory. But let's see if we can actually feel any of that stuff when we're driving. Okay, it's pretty good. The fact that this is rear wheel drive and doesn't even step out a little bit is just ridiculous. You know how some cars, when you drive them, make the game feel like it's sped up? This is so easy to drive. It feels slow. But I'm doing 170 miles an hour through the corners. It is anything but slow. I wonder what's going to happen when we upgrade this. It's just going to be even more ridiculous. What a work of art. Like, actually. I was expecting the Nissan Ultimaniac to be my favorite car in the, ex or in the DLC. I think that might be changing. In terms of our engine swaps, we can swap in a racing V12. Look at the weight of the thing. That's why it was so nice to drive. If we need all wheel drive. I want to just see how fast we can make this. I was correct. We are already on slick tires. We can get drag tires and drift tires and even rally tires. And you know what? I guess I might as well go for some fancy wheels for our final car. We'll get some from this brand, Modular. We have rally suspension. Are you kidding me? The game gives us rally suspension for this, but they don't give us race suspension for the Celine. Where's the logic in that? 1,200 horsepower. What am I racing against? <laughs> All right. Anyways, Pagani, let's just... 
Let's just give it a go. Why am I racing a Corsa? Why? Okay, I think the game is fully disrespecting the Pagani. Even putting those things on the same bit of road, straight disrespect. Round the cone, exec. Round everybody, please. I cannot stress this enough how incredibly cool this car is. I know there's gonna be people out there who are gonna be like, Nick, but it's not OP. No. So, you didn't see that. It is not OP, and it is definitely not even close to OP. If you try to actually take this thing online in S2 class, I would imagine you'd get destroyed by many, many different cars. But that's not what this car is about, at, at least for me. I think it's just super cool and super fun to drive. It is a fantastic car in every single way. Mika just said hot take and it's one of the smoothest best feeling drift cars in the game. Well, why, why am I doing these things? If I am actually gonna go drifting with a Pagani, I guess it has to be all wheel drive. Once again, Twitch chat asks for it and once again, I will deliver. Come on, Pagani. In and snap it and go. How is it this smooth? Yo, what? <laughs> Wait, what? How is it that stable? It didn't really get very much angle, but it was unbelievably smooth. That shouldn't drive like that. Come on. Come on. More angle. More angle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Okay, don't go too wide. Don't go too wide. Not too wide. Not too wide. Hold more angle. Hold more angle. Oh my God. It's so smooth. How is it this smooth? There we go. No, no. I was 500 points off my personal best. Oh my God. Our fourth and final car. Is it a thumbs up, middle or thumbs down? Lol JK, that was a stupid question. I know the answer. $5 for three cars plus an okay truck. I think that's probably worth it. Horizon racing car pack. I am, I enjoy. Thumbs up. 